Hey guys, my name is Nora and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm just going to give you guys a review on one of my favorite masks I've been using on and off for a few years now, but I've actually finally decided to like test it out how you're supposed to and give you guys my results, let you know what, um, what I recommend this to everyone, if, you know, I would stay away from it. We're just going to go into details about all that, um, giving you my rawest form I just got done with the workout about 10 minutes ago so exclude excuse the appearance but I just wanted to go ahead and do this video because I'm about to start testing some more products and I didn't want to forget so calendar wise I started testing the herbivore blue tansy resurfacing clarifying mask back in February February 15th I want to say that was a Friday I started doing what the instructions say, which is for the first seven days, use it every other day. And then after that, I think it's two to three times a week. Yeah, to maintain results. So I actually followed that for not a full month, but as long as I could do before stuff started happening. So I'll insert my before pictures. And this is after. So again, it's been about a month. And yeah, those are my results. But let's first go into what this mask is supposed to do. It says, a truly natural mask that gently clarifies, clarifies blemish-prone skin with fruit enzymes, white willow bark, aloe, and blue tansy essential oil to soothe the appearance of redness. I don't have redness as an issue, so eh, there was that. Apply the layer on skin. Slight tingling It's normal. I will say it did tingle the... Every time I applied it for about two to three minutes, it did tingle, but then it worked itself out. It even says, though, if you have, like, sensitive skin, only leave it on for five minutes instead of the 15 to 20 if you your skin can handle it. I um, already said the tips. We're going to break down a little bit of the ingredients. So what mainly draw, drew me to this mask was the... White willow bark, which is basically a BHA, and it's high in anti-inflammatory and antimicrobials to help clarify the skin. Fruit enzymes, which is an AHA, AHA which uh, gently exfoliates and leaves the complexion smooth and refined. Blue tansy, my holy grail. I love blue tansy oil. Uh, it gives it gives the product its blue color, and it works to reduce appearance of redness and soothes irritated skin. And, of course, everything's tr all natural, cruelty-free, vegan, all that good stuff. So, what I was expecting with this, I, when I went in, I kind of was thinking, for some reason, I was thinking this was going to help with dark spots, just because it exfoliates. It does slightly. You can see some of my dark spots have gone away. But for the most part, this worked for letting me have less breakouts. So... From what it looks like, you can probably look and see, you're probably thinking, oh, that's a lot of acne. Actually, most of this is just acne scarring. Now, I do have like one, two, three, four that popped up this week, and that was purely because my diet has been crapped. It was that time of the month, and I ate all things sugar, so I really did not give this its best chance on its last leg, but I'm not really looking at those because I know my diet played a part in it. That being said, my skin is super smooth. Like, the first few days, or at least leading up to it, every, like, two days, like, clockwork, my skin would feel really rough and I would have to exfoliate. So, of course, I did that. felt great afterwards. By week two, three. By week three, I could push out longer between the two. So, of course, I went to doing two um, masks a week, and I could put one on say a Monday and the other one at the end of the week, so about a Thursday, I could go further out before I felt like my skin texture was changing, so it was getting rough. So like right now, it's really smooth, especially around the uh, cheekbones, that's normally where I feel the most texture, and then above the forehead. Like, I always had the mini bumps, those were always there, but they're actually smoother now, which I was not... Again, I went in thinking for some reason this was going to help with hyperpigmentation. It could help with hyperpigmentation, but it actually really helped with keeping my breakouts to a minimum. So, would I recommend this? Heck yes. But, 
I would do the travel or mini size. So if you, uh, they make several packs that have like a travel size version of this, which is, this is a travel version. Yes, this is a um, travel size. I would do a travel over the full unless you plan to use it conse consecutively. So unless you that is your only mask and you're using it all the time, then yeah, I would probably splurge for the bigger one. I personally prefer the small ones. I actually have one that's smaller than this, but I would prefer this just because one, I have so many other masks that I use and I don't always want a clarifying one. Sometimes I want to use a clay, sometimes I just want to use a scrub. And because this is all natural, one, the color will change. This used to be a vibrant blue, now it's green. That does not mean it's not still, uh, the active ingredients aren't still there. But if you want that for that color, it's, it's gonna go because it's all natural. Um, I had one before last year that, again, I wasn't using consecutively. So I think I had it for the whole year. And what I've noticed between actually using it consistently and getting through the product from dragging it out through the year is that this one tinkled every time I used it. The last one, about halfway through the year, I noticed that I could put it on and it didn't phase me anymore. Granted, it still worked. I still could exfoliate with it, but I didn't feel that tingle anymore. And for some reason, I'm that strange person that likes to feel that tingle if a product says it's going to. So just something to be mindful. This is a pricey item. So if you are going to use it all the time, like how it says to use it like every week and actually get through the product within a reasonable amount of time, totally would recommend getting the larger size. If not, go for the smaller one. Um, I know they used to do the small mask with the oil. I don't know if they still do, but I know they sell the minis on the website. I'll put links to everything down in the description box below. But yeah, that was my experience using the Herbivore Blue Tansy uh, resurfacing clarifying mask for almost a month. Almost a month. I just couldn't commit to the full thing. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys my results before I started putting in more products on my face from another brand I'm testing. So. I didn't want to construe any of the results. So this is it. Am I happy with how my face looks? From where I was, yes. <laughs> I still have a way to go. I definitely want to work on the hyperpigmentation and I normally just get those few pimples in the same spot. This has gone down like for before, all of this used to be straight up acne. Um, now it's just pretty much acne scarring with like one or two bumps here and there. And yeah, so I hope that was helpful. Please let me know if you have any other products from the Herbal Herbivore line you want me to test. I do have quite a few of them, so just leave that down in the comment below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!